Hello and welcome back to another Primetime Devo. My name is Dwayne Matz. We're continuing in the book of 1 Timothy. We're in chapter 6 looking at verse 13. This is a very strong pro-life statement from the Holy Spirit speaking through Paul who says, I urge you in the sight of God who gives life to all things. 1 Timothy 6, 13a. And this is the second time in this portion of Scripture that Paul has called upon God as his witness. So what he is about to say must be very important. And don't overlook this statement about God who gives life to all things. God gives physical life to all things and spiritual life to all things. We are saved by grace. Let's look first uh, at this aspect of physical aspect of God-given life. It seems like a no-brainer, but abortion statistics tell an entirely different story. If we really believe that God is the giver of life, then we would not end the life of unborn children via abortion. In fact, this truth should cause us all to rethink our attitudes about who determines what children should come into this world and when. I want to call your attention to an incident recorded in 2 Samuel 6, 23. Therefore, Michal, the daughter of Saul, had no children to the day of her death. Well, wait a minute. God had taken it upon himself to close the womb of Michal. Are you kidding me? God can open and close wombs? Yes, he has the power to do this. He is the creator. For as Paul states here in this letter to Timothy, he is the giver of all life. Now let me give you some examples. He opened the womb of the aged Sarah, and she gave birth to Isaac. He opened the womb of Leah, and she gave birth to Reuben. He opened the womb of Hannah, and she gave birth to Samuel. He closed all the wombs in the house of Abimelech, Genesis 20:18. It is as he says in Deuteronomy 32:39. Now see that I, even I, am he. There is no God besides me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Nor is there any who can deliver from my hand. God knows life. He knows when to bring it, and he knows when to end it. Psalm 139.16 says, Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they all were written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. You see, God has purposes for the shortest life and the longest. And the sooner we learn this truth, and live it out in our own lives, the sooner the scourge of abortion will end in our land. Let us never forget, in the matters of life and death, Father knows best. Well, that's all the time we have for today. May God bless you. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.